here's a story from a distant star about a planet called Zaponia, where the people cried and shook with fear, because the land was dry and the end was near. On an urgent mission to put it right, brave young Ziggy, day and night, searched through space, till in view, came a spinning world of green and blue. Welcome to Ziku's Earth Adventure! And this is where it all begins in a world of science and earthling friends. Here are the news headlines from Zarponia. An unusual speed wobble has occurred in the region of Comet Puma. All spacecraft are advised to proceed with caution. The cause of the wobble is as yet unknown, but authorities are... We interrupt this broadcast with a message from Councillor Zed Zandor. Councillor Zed Zandor calling Ziku. Come in, Ziku. Zaldi Zandor, what's up? Ah, Zaldi Ziku? Oh, what on earth is that? These are my garden gloves. These protect my hands and prevent them from getting dirty. I'm helping Boogie. He wants to start a vegetable garden. Ah, oh, it must be so nice to be able to grow stuff. Here on Zaponia, we have to manufacture everything in factories. Which brings me to today's mission. Zap it to me, Zandu. Today, your mission is to find out about the soil that covers the Earth's crust. Please find out what exactly is soil? What is the Earth's soil made of? Where does soil come from? And why is soil so important to earthlings? Zoki Doki, since we're working with soil, I'm sure Boy will be able to help me. Zoom, zap off and see if you can find some examples of soil and what earthlings do with it. Zoom! Boy, I'm back! Hi, Zuku. I was expecting you. What on earth is on your mission? My mission is all about soil. I need to find out what exactly is soil, what it's made of, where it comes from, and why it's so important to earthlings. Well, Ziku, I can help you with the first and the last question. You see the soil that I'm digging in now? We use it to plant food for animals and humans, like this vegetable patch we're doing now. Soon, there'll be all different kinds of vegetables, like tomatoes, carrots, and broccoli. Please, no! I don't understand why Earthlings insist on eating broccoli. It tastes like a Zarponian zootworm. Well, not that I've ever eaten one before. Hey, Zigu, let's stop talking and get to work. You see, first we have to smoothen this ground and add compost to it. Then we can finish planting the rest of the seedlings. What's the compost for? Well, Zigu, it helps the plants grow better. But how? You know, Zigu, I don't know. But maybe you can go and speak to my uncle from Afunani. He knows all the stuff. That's a great plan. The soil looks nice and loose. Look! Ziki's asteroid! What's that? Oh, Ziku, this is the earthworm. They live in the soil. The earthworms are good for the soil because they keep the soil full of air. Then I think I'd better go speak to Farmer Funani. Bye! Ziku, I thought you were going to help me plant this. Come, Ziku. Ah, oh, Zoom, you're back. Ziku is off to Bongi's uncle, the farmer. Activate the Ziku cam. What information have you gathered? I notice there seems to be different types of soil. It seems that humans and animals depend on the plants that grow in the soil. Yes, like Ziku depends on you, Zoom. Yes, you can go. But I'm getting worried about your sudden interest in what humans call motor cars. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm investigating soil, so Bongi said that you might be able to give you some information. Oh, how's Bongi's vegetable garden coming along? Oh, you must remind me, I've got some seeds that you must take to give to him. His garden is coming along quite well, except that he wants to grow broccoli. Oh, 
<laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm not very fond of broccoli myself. I like tomatoes and, oh yes, potatoes. Mmm, potatoes. I like boiled, mashed, baked, fry, and chips. And soil? Soil. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, let me see. Soil is the loose top layer of the Earth's crust. It is made up of lots of different things. There are particles of different sizes, and the coarser particles, that means the rougher particles, are the sand, and the very fine particles are clay, and the in-between parts are called silt. Where do these particles come from? Well, on the planet Earth, there are many different kinds of rock, and that makes the soil look different. You'll see over there, that color of that soil is different to this one, and to this one, and that one over there. How do these hard rocks become tiny little particles? Well, over many, many thousands of years, the rock gets broken down. This is called weathering. It is a complex process. Soil begins to be formed when rocks come into contact with moisture. Now, this changes the surface. It's called a chemical reaction. The rock becomes softer, and then it can be worn away. During the day, the rock heats up, and at night, it cools down. Now, this can cause it to crack and start to break up. Even a tree can help to break down rocks by growing in the cracks between the rocks. And some of the smallest plant, like lichens and moss, can also help to break down the surface of rocks. People and animals can be involved in this process, too. And then there's the wind. Look at these rock formations. So, like I said, over thousands of years, the wind has blasted the surface of the rock and it's helped to break it down. Apart from these rock particles, what else does soil contain? Oh, <laughs> well, there are other things that soil contains, but let me show you. You'll have to come over there with me. Come along. <laughs> On the elephant. There. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Soil also contains plant material. You see, there are a lot of rotting things in it. Little pieces of leaves and stems and, and, and roots. Now, these natural things, these rotting leaves and stuff, they help to absorb and hold the water in the soil. You see, plants need the water in order to live. And when these things break down very fine, then they give nutrients to the plants, and nutrients help the plants to grow. Now, take a look here. <laughs> Big up. Chonga, chonga, chonga. Oh! Have you ever seen these? Herbs. Huh? How do they help? <laughs> well, earthworms are very important for healthy soil because they help to break down the plant material. You see, they wriggle around here in the soil and they also bring air into the soil because they make it loose. So, what does healthy soil look like? Well, healthy soil or fertile soil, that means soil in which plants are happy to live looks a little bit like this. Now, if you and Bongi want to grow healthy vegetables, you must have healthy soil. Here, take some. How does it feel? It feels a bit crumbly and damp. <laughs> now, notice that there is a little bit of sand in there, and this helps for the water to flow through. You see, you must never drown the roots of a plant. A little bit of sand helps with the drainage. What about that soil over there? It doesn't look like this soil you showed me here. <laughs> it's very hard and sandy. You are quite right. You can see it is gritty. Come along, let's go and have a closer look. <laughs> yes, Ziggo, you are quite right. You can see that this soil here is gritty. There is no plant material yet to hold any water and plants would find it very difficult to grow here. Yes, that's why there aren't any plants in the desert, because it's too hot and dry. Yes, that is quite true. 
And although there are some plants that can grow in that kind of soil, you could never plant vegetables like this in that soil. Is there anything people can do to fix that hard and dry soil we saw back there? Yes, over some time, people can improve their soil. And one thing that people do to enrich their soil is to add compost so that they can grow vegetables just like this. Come, let me show you. Let's go up to my shack. And I'll tell you all about compost. All right, Zigo, here we are. Come along. Here we are. Sylvan, are you getting this? Loud and clear, Zigo. Who are you talking to? This dust is making me sneeze. Uh, 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 Sylvan. <laughs> This looks like a rubbish heap. Oh, no, yes. In a way, you are right, but this is not a rubbish heap. This is where I make my own compost. Can you see all the old dry leaves from my garden and the vegetable peeling, some eggshells there, and some apple cores? And this is where I make my compost. I keep this moist so that over time, all this material can break down to make an even richer compost. It's very easy to make compost. Do you want me to show you how? Yes, please. I'm sure Bongi would like to know for his vegetable garden. <laughs> Come along, follow me. There we go. Uh, here we are. Come and have a seat, Zigo. Welcome to my shack. Uh, now, to make a compost. Here we have two plastic bottles. What I have done already just to make it easier to demonstrate for you is to cut the bottles as I need them. What you do with the first bottle is cut one third of the bottle away from the bottom so it looks like this. We'll put that one aside for the moment and then we take a piece of stocking so that we can close the end where we usually put the lid on. Now if you'll just hold that for me while I wrap the stocking around like so Okay, and maybe elastic, and we'll make it secure. We'll make it tight and keep it in place with our elastic. Right, so we've blocked off the bottom of the bottle. Now, we take some soil for our first layer. There we go. And then we take a few vegetable peelings, like so. And push it in, like so. And we can put another layer of soil. There we go. Make sure we can cover those peels. There, and one for luck. All right. Now, our magic ingredient. Would you hold that for me, please? <laughs> and we put some of our nice little wriggly earthworms. Can you see them there? There we go. Yeah, nice happy earthworm family, eh? All right, now let's put some more soil on top. There we go. We're almost there. Just so that we can cover our earthworms up. Right. And a little bit more. Now, we can just put a little bit of water in to make sure that our compost is damp or moist. Remember I said we keep the compost moist by putting water on it. And then just a few leaves of the vegetable peelings and so on, just so we can make sure it keeps down. There we go. Now, if you'll hold that for me, and I'll take our little earthworm family away from you. In our second bottle, you will notice that I have cut it one third from the top, like so. Now, what I do is, we'll take that first bottle and put it inside the second bottle, you see? Now, let's put it down there carefully. Can you see all right? Now, the bottom half from our first bottle, what I have done is to make some holes in the top. Can you see? Yes. Right. Now, we take the top, the bottom half of the bottle, and it becomes a top. And we close it up like so. Okay. Now, what we must make sure we do is 
to wrap some newspaper around it so that it can stay dark. Like so. Give me some more newspaper. A yeah, nice big piece like so. And there we go. Then we put it away somewhere so that it can break down and become compost. And in three to four weeks, it will be ready so that you can dig it into the soil. And imagine what nice, juicy vegetables we'll have. Oh, tomatoes. And Thank you very much for all the information. And lettuce and nice, firm, but... Zigo? Zigo? Hey, hey, man. have more footage? My, but you're hardworking today. This certainly is unusual. I noticed the wind erosion. And here, there are signs of how the water has worn away the rock. Wait, I think Ziku is coming. Zandor, come in please, Zandor. Ziku, have you found the important information for everyone on Zaponia? Yes, Councillor Zandor, and Zulin is ready to transmit. Then let's see what you've achieved in this mission. Zip it to us, Zillian. Ziku has discovered that soil is the loose top layer of the Earth's crust and is made up of lots of different things. Tiny particles of different sizes, very fine material called clay and bigger grains of sand. Tiny bits of plants fall to the ground, rot and break down to form part of the soil. Insects and tiny animals that live in the soil. Soil is formed over a very long period of time through weathering. Weathering happens when moisture in the air affects the surface of rocks and makes a change, which is a chemical reaction. Lots of things help break down rocks to make soil. People, animals, roots of plants, wind, water. Healthy soil contains lots of tiny bits of rotting plants. This helps hold the water and also gives the plants nutrients and some sand to give it drainage so the plants don't get waterlogged. Earthworms and other tiny creatures to loosen the soil and put air in it. Healthy soil is important because plants need it to grow well. People make the soil richer by making and adding compost. Thank you, Ziggle. That will be of great help to Zapolia. Over and out! Stand by to receive data. Transponder activated. Sending data. Quadrants ZZ, ZZZ. Information downloaded. Over and out. Zawi, mission accomplished. Zia Zun, Zillian. Ziga Zun. Good night, good earth. Good luck, brave Zarponia.